Hello everyone and welcome to oh, the Pondering oh, oh, oh. Trio Inc. I'm today joined with my friends Nate and Curtis. Uh, we're doing episode one of our podcast and I'll move it on to you. My name is Ian as you guys already know. Uh, I play trombone and I go to a college called ISU. I'm majoring in musical arts and have a minor in media and stuff and yeah I guess we can move on to Nate. Hi guys, uh, my name is Nate. I am the N in Inc. And I am a music minor and a construction management major. Now, I have a special announcement to make. So, this podcast has a little bit of a twist to it. It is not just a podcast where we're going to be talking about either music or the current events. But this is also a project podcast that we are doing for one of our classes, our communications class. So, uh, we might be talking a little bit about that class. We might be talking about uh, uh, stuff going around at Indiana State. But uh, if this stuff uh, blows up, then uh, I can accredit it to this project uh, being the start of this amazing podcast. So, don't worry, don't forget about Curtis's my and my idea how we wanted to start a podcast, and we were both hyped on it and then we're like yeah hey, you want to join we, us? Wanted, we started the podcast no, and we had no. a couple of practice runs which uh we, we're gonna have to scrap but they were a little they were really funny but they were probably not suitable for youtube yeah <laughs> but then um, this project came around we were thinking you know let's just refine this podcast even though this is episode one and you guys are yeah. never gonna see our earlier attempts yeah and we're probably not planning on doing like not every episode is gonna be based on this project. This is just the first episode, little yeah. introduction. We'll probably use it as the project. And then you guys, if this someone comes from the project and they want to watch the podcast, then yeah, there's that. Um, and I, I guess, I think that's, it's Curtis's introduction now. His time. Yeah, Curtis. Third person. See you in uh, hello guys, my name is Curtis, I am the C in Inc, and I was a music major at Womp. ISU, I am a dropout, Womp. 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 but, uh, I am still pursuing doing? my great music career as a music producer, I just recently got a mic, finally, for my PC, a studio mic, but sadly, <laughs> It had. It came with the wrong core W manufacturers, by the way. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I got, Nate, except I'm for the type of music I'm going to be making. Kind of funny, inappropriate joke. It's not anything really bad, but it what with the, it what with the wrong chord, Curtis? Huh? Hey, you there's a that. little white substance on my chord, anyways. What? C word. It, all right, anyways. It, huh? Uh, Oh, yes, by the way, uh, our uh, teacher <laughs> allowed us to say some funny jokes, as long as it is in the YouTube's guidelines. Yeah, so, yes, so YouTube we, sometimes are big meanies, and they don't let us be as funny as we want to. That's why we had to restart some of the scrap. We had to scrap some of the funny <laughs> things. This type of word. If, you, if you hear this type of word like, fuck, shit, it's probably going to be bleeped out in the final stuff. But yes, we can say this stuff. We might say it, we might, we might, I might, like, let it slide every now and then, because, like, as long as it's not used obsessively, <laughs> like, if I use it once or twice, and, like, I forget to bleep it, or I choose not to bleep it, that'll be fine, but if, we probably will say that word quite a bit, but I'll probably start having to, I'll probably censor it. Okay, if, it's, if, if the context is funny, we won't bleep it out. If the context like this. Is My bad. Fuck! No. <laughs> I was very, I was, like, edging you guys, dude. You were what?! Edging water. <laughs> Edging you guys with the F-bomb. Edge water. Edging wood. <laughs> oh, speaking about edge water. Oh. We should introduce, um, since we're all music backgrounds, we should uh, talk about where we are from. Now, obviously, we're all from Indiana State University, but where are we from originally, high school-wise? Ian, you start. By your I, high school. I guess I will start due to being the I and also being an old man and being older than you guys both because i'm apparently an old man as compared to everyone else um i'm from Terre Haute south uh, i had a show last year in marching band i've done it for four years as a freshman i did marching band um and what was it we our last show was called heavy metal we played rock songs like iron man doomed by bring me the horizon uh what else um Heavy metal, not heavy metal. That was the name of the show. Uh, 
Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue, and um, oh. I was Iron Man. also don't forget Iron Man. I had that on deck, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit about me. Uh, I play trombone, as you guys already know. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, I'm from Terre Haute South. I played jazz there, did marching men there. Um, I, I don't have a funny school name, like uh, one of the people that we're about to... Uh, about shut to up, dude, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> but, but, um, what is it? Uh, I actually kind of met Nate indirectly from one of the Avon Invitationals, which kind of spoils it. He's from Avon, but I, I was at his Invitational, and he saw me soloing at the beginning of my show, so that's how we kind of met with each other indirectly, and then in marching band, we marching band. got to talk more often. So, yeah, I guess that's an introduction for myself. If I forgot anything, then you guys can let me know. But, yeah, on to, on to Nate now. Hi. Well, um, yeah, see, you're really spoiled. <laughs> I am Rosie from the Gross! <laughs> um, anyways, um, so my last show was called Bloodlines, and it was about not really anything. It was just a mood. It was a dark moon, and it was about, uh, eh, I guess you can say, a hellish landscape. We wore uh, all black uniforms with a red scarf around, and we would lay this red scarf down to make like blood vessels and stuff. It was a pretty cool show. We got second place. In the nation, um, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, um, Avon is a. If you guys don't know, Avon is a really big marching band school. A uh, bunch of uh, podium finishes in national competitions, multiple times state winner. But the, uh, they they got their 16th state championship in 2023 and their fourth Grand National Championship, a 13 year drought streak break at Grand Nats. And I can't I can't wait to see the. Uh, a progression of the school. I am also heavily involved in jazz band. I have been in jazz band since I've started playing saxophone in seventh grade, beginning band. Uh, I am also uh, really heavy on ISMA, or basically our uh, uh, solo and ensemble slash concert band circuit in Indiana. Uh, made uh, the uh, state uh, festival um all four years of high school uh i also picked up a little bit of trumpet uh over my sophomore year but i kind of had to lay it down for a bit because a saxophone in school got a little in the way Don't but uh you're, you're an elevate boy too now yes i'm also marching uh elevate winds which is a wgi winds group uh we are currently in the process of learning our show and uh I will give you more information once we are allowed to say stuff, but we are cooking something pretty big. If you guys don't know, uh, WGI Wins is a new version of marching band. It is an indoor marching band, except there's no percussion and no color guard, no dancers, no drummer boys. It is just brass and woodwinds, and you march on a tarp, which is designed to look like the theme of your show, and a basketball field, and you march on a in the basketball field instead of a football stadium. Uh, and it's a lot more like visually appealing. If you guys also don't know, WGI is the official uh, circuit, national circuit for color guard competition and all other sorts of indoor performing arts. So yeah, that's um, that's my part. And yes, I actually, I was the latest out of all these three to start playing my instrument. I started in seventh grade, not in sixth or fifth grade. It was no school start. Technically, I started going the summer into seventh grade, so I started a little bit before you. I started two buttons sixth grade, um, so you and me are pretty close in starting time. I think Curtis is the one that's played longest of all of us. Anyways, I, I have, yeah, anyways, I have like a, I have a lot of accomplishments in music, but it was mostly school-related stuff even though i'm i'm pretty good sex but i will well, say i mean right. preparing some solos for a uh uh perfect, cut, pitch, perfect pitch. Uh, recital <laughs> coming up recital coming up preparing some solos for that but i can't think um uh, I, I can't say that my skills are done a lot there's uh, so many people that help me along the way but now we gotta go to somebody who cough in cough. my opinion also, you can't yeah. you can't talk about yeah, but, you can't talk about your friend perfect pitch that helps you <laughs> your best friend perfect yes pitch. <laughs> i know i well, have perfect pitch as, long as, curtis. <laughs> as well as curtis we have perfect pitch which helps us with music theory stuff and just like playing curtis has perfect pitch that helps a lot with music production he can hear chords in his head 
Anyways, speaking about this, Curtis, who honestly I will agree is a much better sanctional player than me. Let's take it away. <laughs> this guy is a freaking stud in jazz band. He's a big Curtis, he goes thank crazy you, in jazz band. He's the type of guy much. to play win machine in jazz band and go insane. Dude, give me something harder. Dude, wind machine's anyway. like 300 beats per minute. It's terrible. It's so fast. Okay. And give me something hard. That's step. hard. Play giant steps. Anyways. Not the block so, burn, dude. <laughs> I already know Ian's got the joke prepared. I'm just gonna yeah. say it. I'm from a I'm from a tiny little high school known as Edgewood. Edgewood. Edging <laughs> Edging water, edge water. Kids, if you're watching this with your parents, hey parents, if you're watching this with your kids, you're not edge your wood. Anyways, um, so I for my final show did a funny little song called "My Buddy's a Cage." Our show was called "Break Free." <laughs> and uh <laughs> i got to start off that show with a big solo and then followed by a duet with a good friend of mine um and then later on in the show it became a quintet with my very good buddy mr carter buell he's also going to isu he's a cool dude um yeah <clears throat> um I did do win a percussion. I'm not an uh, WGI though, just win a percussion. Um, I, fun fact: I never actually played anything in win a percussion. <laughs> I was a prostitute, as Carter would say. <laughs> you also died uh, from one of my videos. I did. Yeah, I died. I got yeah. blasted and died. Yeah, yeah, it was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a visual yeah. ensemble member. He just helps with like the visual part of the show. It's Lame. Like, yeah, basically. <laughs> Um, I think that's really all I have other than, you know, I I did win at end up winning four fucking Oh, I didn't need to say that. You're good. Okay, well, we'll do that. <laughs> for uh state championships. <laughs> yeah, you're also like we said you're a behemoth of jazz, so that's com that's Yes, yeah, so I I was a big guy for jazz. I was very big on playing the saxophone in general. I actually started in 5th grade. Bruh. Um, I wish that's I when, play. yeah, that's when I oh, started practicing. So, oh, well, speaking about the uh, f bomb, so we have a really, uh, I have a, I have a pretty interesting teacher for my econ, and uh, I'm not gonna say his name for uh, privacy six, but um, hmm? um, so the the interesting thing about him is that he has a rule in his class. <laughs> So, okay, so first of all, let's just say he, he is the type of person not he, he He is really unhinged. He would not care if he offends you because it's actually funny. I don't but care he has a, he because he does he not has a give rule. a damn. <laughs> yes. He has a rule. My econ teacher has a rule. If he says the F-bomb more than five times in a semester, we get a tenth of a percent added to our grade every time. That's why. <laughs> He's currently at three F bombs, so two more, and uh, we get extra points. And also, uh, our communication teacher, who uh, we're actually helping, uh, we're doing the floor, uh, also said that he, quote unquote, my econ teacher corrupted him, so that's why he also makes a lot of F bombs. And currently, I'm keeping tally on both of them. Uh, currently, my econ teacher is winning three to one. <laughs> yeah. But I, mean, I think after my comp teacher sees this, that might change. Who knows? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention when when Nate mentioned state solo and ensemble and with ensemble so solo and ensemble and stuff. Um, I think we all have been to state. I, I know I've been to state a few times. I've, I've been to state gold. every year. Me too. Yeah, perfect. And also, I've perfect. never gotten a silver at solo and ensemble. I've only gotten golds. Are you guys also in that same? <laughs> Yeah. I am also on the only gold club. Oh, okay, are you in the perfect score club? Actually, I, gotta, I, I remember Curtis score. isn't in the only gold club because he got goofed on. <laughs> yeah. uh, so. You're mostly well, gold club, though. I, um... Well, what saddens me is I was, I was nearing the, uh... 
the perfect score club. I was 0.5 points off. I have awesome. two perfect scores. But if you guys don't know, so this is how the uh, subjective judging system works at ISMA. Mm -hmm. You have nine categories for uh, for your solo. And the the best possible score for each category is one, the worst is four. So, theoretically speaking, the highest score, the, the best score you can get is a nine. Mm -hmm. The lower, the better. It's like golf. That's like 9.5. Yeah. Badge. The lowest you can get is 36, and the highest you can get is a 9. A 9 to a 12.5 is a gold rating. And then 10.5 and uh, above is uh, gold with a distinction. Oh, 12.5. No, with gold with a distinction. Uh, and yes. Yes. Distinction meaning that you did pretty good. I have three gold with distinctions and one perfect score. Jeez. Also, this is not a ranked... Uh, a solo, solo ensemble competition like Texas. Texas ranks its people. This is festival class. The only time you actually get ranked is uh, you go into district, which is like prelims, preliminary rounds, yeah. and then you, you have to be in uh, division one, which is the highest level of uh, solo difficulty, mostly for high schoolers. Like division five is like sixth graders, division one is like high schoolers, or really cracked eighth graders. <laughs> if you get a goal in division one, you move up the state, and after that, it's how well you do. Oh, yeah. And this is you, you're gonna. This is made for everything. Is ISMA, ISSMA, which is the uh, head of this uh, solo ensemble competition, does not just do that. They also do concert band competitions, ensemble competitions, and marching band competitions. They control everything. IMEA, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, uh, which is our uh, second uh, circuit, uh, Indian Music Education Association. Uh, they mostly do choir and, and uh, piano stuff. And then for indoor winter percussion, we have a thing called IPA, Indoor Percussion Association. Technically, indoor percussion wins. So, yeah. Yeah. IMEA is yeah. also for jazz. IPA? IPA? IMEA is also for jazz. Oh, 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 that's right. Our, 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 our color guard. We also have a color guard uh, only circuit in state called ISHCGA. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, a lot of the Indiana groups are connected with all these uh, different types of uh, circuits, which brings uh, music people closer. And remember, music is a really small world. If you're in one group, you're most likely known by 50 other people. It's a small world after all. Yeah. I, I actually hated that run. It genuinely made me want to blow my brains out. Womp womp. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I remember doing some Isma jazz. That was really fun, and I think there was IMEA. Like, oh, yeah. There's IMEA, like, performances you can do, like, all state <laughs> IMEA stuff, and, like, jazz stuff for IMEA. IMEA is as common, like he said, for uh, groups of... It, it, like doesn't, end, it, it vocals, doesn't end in high school. If you, it does not end in high school. If you go to college, you can go to certain conventions for educational or business purposes, and you can meet all these directors and eventually become your own director. Oh, yeah. So, Curdy Shaft, if you had anything else that you wanted to talk about, I don't think I thought of it. Because I know Nate and I have kind of been some yappers, but I don't know if you've got to yap as much. I've really got nothing. I mean, I don't have that much to yap about anyways, considering you guys have a lot more than I do. But What's not yapping? I wanted, to get, I wanted to get to something pretty interesting, and that is talking about our college life. We are currently second semester freshmen. Ian and I... Curtis is. What about well, me? Curtis is a one semester <laughs> freshman, and he left after that w, one semester. W. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't for me. I will say uh, I'm actively receiving therapy, though. Based. That's yeah. actually top tier. W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. Um, I don't like that around doing it. Okay, let's see. Let's just talk about our first semester then, since we can uh, be including of Curtis. Speaking, speaking of, I want to, I want to, because I thought about it before you said it, Nate. I want to, you know, I want to get rid of the mental stigma because I, I think I'm a pretty cool progressive person that, because I know Curtis brought it up. If you go to therapy, you're actually based. Like, don't, don't let anyone else tell you. You're pretty based. I know I go to therapy and uh, I've got issues. I'm, I'm a little bit neurodivergent and poopoo -poo brain and uh, stuff like that. So, and I have the, the sad, uh, the depresso. So that that happens, uh, but yeah, don't especially for us men, you know. Like I, 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 this might be who knows. Maybe this will go on the project, but don't let don't be like, oh, this stigma's like 
<laughs> Therapy's bad. Therapy good. Therapy actually good. <laughs> yeah, Nate, go on with what you were about to say. I wanted to say, to bring that up. <laughs> Sorry, I just sneezed the soul out of myself. Um, I wanted to talk about ICU life. So uh, let's start with Ian. You know, what has your experience at ICU been like right now with classes and marching band and dining hall and dorms? Talk about it. And I'll talk about my stuff and encourage you to talk about his experience. Okay, I'll try to bring up the things that you listed. If I forget any of them, you can tell me and I'll elaborate. Um, yeah, if you also have. Marching band, you said marching. starting with. Marching band was extremely yeah, well, well, The first sorry, sorry. week of marching band when it was marching band camp, I was like, oh, shoot, this, this is hard. This is challenging because we were doing so much hours of practice with very little breaks. And I know, like, other schools like Avon have done stuff like that too, but, like, I didn't realize it was that crazy. Um, but then, like, second or third day of marching band, I met you guys, <laughs> and it went up from there, and then marching band was really fun, because I was like, dining hall? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the dining, like, I'm going to loop into this, because you asked about the dining hall. What is the dining hall? We get a card for it, but I don't need a card, because I have a meal plan, and that loops into the dining hall. We had dining hall during, like, marching band, and, and they have, to be cool, with ISU, they have better foods when big occasions come on. Like, that, that's with any school, um, so I'm not being like i'm not trying to start any like suspicious like bro's like, literally not, controversial not, bro's I, literally controversial i'm not i'm not trying to like make any theories but like you know that the, so during marching <laughs> man the foods was was really good dining hall in general it can be really good but it also can make you poo poo it can make you poop your your brains out or can make you sick but the dining hall overall has some really good food sometimes and you basically get an all you can eat buffet stuff style type food um, classes, I think is what you said next, uh, classes first semester. They were pretty like relaxed. I had an honors class at like six o'clock or six thirty, like on <coughs> Thursday. So that was the only class that sucked because I had to go like in the evening time and have that class, but it was extremely fun because honors classes are awesome. Um, and then I had some like music intro to music stuff and piano stuff and a lot of classes like that. Uh, and this was at the time when I was a music business major and I was like, eh, I'll do music business because I don't think I'm good enough for performance. And then I was like, next, next semester, maybe I should be a performance, but I decided on music level arts for now. And maybe after I graduate, I want to go to like a performance school. Um, so yeah, that's first semester with classes and dining hall and marching band. What else did you mention, Nate? What was the other thing you said? Uh, like dorm life and, uh, dorm life, class. dorm life, uh, dorm life's pretty good. I have a single dorm right now. I've never had a roommate uh, so far. Uh, I know Nate did. I'm like point, me. But uh, um, I know Curtis didn't. We, we both haven't had roommates, really. Um, I did. But, well, I mean, at least for like the first week. Yeah. I know you did for the first week, but I know yours was such a short time, so I basically just group you with yeah. me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I didn't have a roommate. I have a single room, and I didn't have to buy it out, so I just have to get to have a single room for now. And it's pretty nice. Um, I might try doing something next year too with like maybe be an RA to get free housing and stuff and all that stuff but I don't know uh dorm life's pretty decent the only thing that sucks is being a broke college kid and having to like get food from friends and family or like buying it every now and then and getting drinks and stuff when I don't want to when I don't want to or can't go to the dining hall but yeah that's dorm life and I think that's about it I think it's on to you now Nate all right um, my experience with college. So, I mean, as any normal teen would, I celebrated my independence and hard-fought work to get away from the nest of my parents' house. Oh, no yeah. more bedtime. Also, oh, yeah. Masturbation. <laughs> what? Uh, huh? Oh, uh, he didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything, carry on. <laughs> um... <laughs> um so, um, my first experience at ICU, see, the thing is, I have a parent. I have my mom who works as a, a music teacher at ICU, as a choir and theory teacher. <laughs> but this is not my first time at ICU. Best, I knew what to best. expect. Risk. But what I didn't expect is that we had actual food in the dining hall. Oh, yeah. See, I come from a high school, and as you know, high schools are probably shit when it comes to food. Yeah. I don't like getting ass meat all the time. <laughs> so I realized that even the same. Dexo is Dexo. Can't um, be shit Dexo sometimes. Um, they serve actual food, and I love the dining hall. And then the dining hall is not the only place that you can go eat that I figured out. Oh yeah, that's true. 
You could also go to the car. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, there's somebody banging on the door in my dorm. Welcome to dorm life. I'll talk about dorm life later. I swear to God. That first thing to no, JK, JK, JK. JK, that's all my problem. Nate's about to get, like, arrested. <laughs> oh no, Nate, please. Don't get arrested, Nate. Uh oh. We might have lost him, Curtis. I think he got arrested. No, I, I'm not. Oh, kidding. man. No, Nate, why have you been arrested? <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I made I I made a threat. Oh no, I'm 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 gonna die. Oh my God, he is banging on literally everyone's everyone's door. Ah, oh, he's gay. Anyways, <laughs> before anyone says anything, Curtis is technically gay. Um, shut up, oh, bro. Bisexual. He's a bicycle. <laughs> All right, buddy. Just because I like bicycles doesn't mean you can make fun of it. It's but does that makes you bisexual? You like bikes. Yeah, I love bikes, dude. Fire, Me too. Fire by yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm anyways, I was saying. I'm a unicycle guy. Yeah, I like uni I've never even rode so, a unicycle, uh, but they look cool. I know Eagle's talking about yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. I, I know Eagle was talking about the, uh, the rigorous uh, schedule when he came to the marching band. Mm -hmm. Um... It was not that big of a problem for me because I'm used to the long hours of practicing. Matt but what I wasn't used to, <laughs> what I wasn't used to was just how much independence you get at ISU, well, at, at college. Yeah, actually, yes, it's a small marching band. We're not, no, it's like literally three times less the size of Avon's marching band, but that's just different than the high school and college. But um, uh. I would say it's a lot more relaxed than Avon. The people there are pretty chill and not a lot of drugs. Anymore. Um, uh, I already talked about food life. We have a second place, like a more expensive, like premium place called the Commons, which has stuff like Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, you know, crispy, crunchy chicken, which is basically like our version of like Arby's or something like that. Yeah. And then they have like a uh, a convenience store, like a Walgreens, called the Cupboard, where you can get snacks and uh, medicine and stuff. Uh, and then we have like a uh, we have like a a, a gyro a gyro place called uh, uh, George's Cafe. That's pretty cool. It's really good. It's like one of the best yeah. places there. <laughs> I still have yet to even try it. You should come down it's here really, one day and uh, we can like get you some. It's so good. It's really That's good. My only I, I mean I'm coming my only complaint. Friday. Yeah. My only complaint about my only complaint about ISU is I wish they were healthier often. Sometimes there used to be a subway in uh the comment section but uh it got uh shut down and it's being replaced with a uh a cheeseria shop like a cheesy bread shop um, i will be right back and then after nate's done explaining curtis can explain and then we'll probably end the episode there just uh, talk about uh talk about uh, <laughs> The Verve oh, and Jazz. Jeez, um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, I remember now. Uh, oh, wow, I remember the voice. Um, what was it? Oh, class life. Mm -hmm. So what did I know about class? I'm on the honors class. Jesus Christ, they were a little big. On everyone's doors. Um, sponging. <laughs> some classes feel easier than high school, if I'll be honest. Because in the high school, you're like, oh my god, if you're not prepared, if you're not doing 50 billion assignments, you're going to die in college. They're going to destroy you. They're We're going to make his ass strong. Yeah. Guess what? Sometimes you may only have two classes in a day. Yeah. And the most you have five. You know, while in high school, you have seven in EDSA almost every day. Mm -hmm. It is a lot less strong. College when it comes to class time, but the homework, um, oh lord, that no, I get really it. Up if, you don't, if you fall behind on that, on that. yeah, if you fall behind in college, oh, lord. but gone. gone. And the thing is, you you live where you where you uh, study, so you don't really have a bedtime. You don't really you don't, you can you can do whatever the heck you want. 
unless like you're uh, except if you're being loud there's quiet hours here at 10 o'clock but um they're pretty lenient about it though if they don't care the professors literally don't care if you stay all night doing homework as long as you get it done the second thing about class is learned there is no such thing as a bathroom pass there is no such thing as oh you have to stay in class you can leave wherever you want you're an adult you make your own choices whether you want to succeed or not you pay for the class and some some uh, professors don't even care about phones as long as you're being quiet. It's your choice. You're an adult. Yeah. What I've also noticed is that um, in my honors class, I think only one person dropped that class. It was always a full class, and people do their work. Well, meanwhile, in the lower 100 level classes, I saw was really a, a natural selection and something that normally happens in uh, in universities. Or people, or you're gonna have a bunch of people, and they're gonna think that yeah, this is what I want to do. And then in a week six of the semester, you see half your class is gone. They either drop or is decide the college is not for them. <laughs> My opinion: the first and part, part of the second year is like the, the chopping block. Do you, you want to really do this or not? Whoever survives is the best fit. It doesn't mean that if you drop out, you're, you're not the best fitted. You're not. You're not the best. It just. <laughs> Sorry, Curtis. You're not fit. <laughs> you're un. Yeah, I know I'm not fit. I'm exercising. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> what? Look. What I've noticed is that. Look. You can. You can skip class. You can sit in your dorm and then make the long adventurous trip to the dining hall every day to eat. To eat. But. Be a strategy. And you're screwing yourself if you do that. Go to classes, educate, <laughs> learn. Yeah. ISU, yeah. in my opinion, is not that hard to graduate from. It is a undergraduate school. Mm -hmm. This is not a Harvard or an IU or an Ohio State. I'll uh, see. This was a like high school sometimes. The, the quality of education is the same, but it's just like right now due to COVID and due to some circumstances I'm not allowed to talk about. ISU is still recovering, but we are we're coming back. We're coming back. Nothing too bad. But um what I've just realized is that if you just go to class, even if you just don't do anything, if you go to class, you're already ahead of most people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. College is your time to grasp an opportunity and run with it. Or get a lot of debt. No, okay, you can get scholarships from that too. Please join sororities. Please join Boss fraternities. Kids. Don't be a hermit. Don't just go straight from your daughter class and back. Join sororities. Get connections. You just don't join any fraternities or sororities that are going to do stuff that you're not comfortable with. Oh. Like, I'm going to, this semester, I'm oh, going to be joining uh, a fraternity called Kappa Kappa Psi, which is an honorary oh, band fraternity which is service and stuff, and they don't do the fratern the stereotypical, like, get drunk, do get in trouble with stuff like that. Uh, join a fraternity or sorority that you're comfortable with, and you don't even have to join. Just make sure you have people that you're talking to in your classes, because you can make friends pretty easily. All right. Is it is it Curtis's mm -hmm. turn now, or Nate, are you forgetting <coughs> one more thing? It is, uh... Wait, I forgot to uh, talk about one thing. Storm life. Yeah, then after that, it's Curtis's turn. I live in the Honors College, which means I have a I have a personal bathroom, and Me I too. have it's a normal dorm. Uh, the regular <laughs> dorms, which are called the Towers, they don't have a bathroom. You have to share the communal bathroom. Drum and you don't really have a lot of privacy on my queue. Now, other than oh. uh, the current uh, neighbors that are destroying their properties or something like that, Ooh. Yes, I was saying this on a podcast. I'm calling you out. Um, hey, I didn't know that. Hey, that's it's a pretty word. quiet dorm. I, I like it. I think we're going to be here again next year. The floor depends on uh, what wrestling is. Okay, um, I've done my rambling. I've done my classes. Done. Also, by the way, I think I've had the best grades in college. I've had better grades in college than in high school. That's fair enough. Also, I didn't know about the, call, the thing you said with your dorm. That was a new one. I didn't even know about that. Are they, like, really irresponsible? Yes. That's not good. There's also, a bunch, there's also a bunch of trains here in, in Terre Haute. Yeah, if you hear a train. We actually have a funny thing. And we've been marching. We count the amount. We have like a competition to see who can get the... Who can count the most accurate amount of trains that pass during the person. Yeah. <laughs> the winner gets... Some sort of random prize. 
But that's just the life of living near. That's just life of rehearsing near three railroad tracks. Yeah. Anyways, it is time for Curtis, who has a slightly different view of what I see. Because well, but he dropped out of his one special reasons. I want I want to know how your one semester plus a couple of days was at ICU. Yeah, and you can elaborate afterwards yeah. too if you want. Yeah, so, um... <clears throat> Hi, my name is Curry Shabbed, and I am welcome to the podcast. Anyway. Yeah. Talk about marching um, man versus Curry Shabbed. <laughs> <laughs> For college, I think, um... Classes... They can do it. I'm going to talk about college marching band. Is that what you meant? What was the right order you gave again? <laughs> marching band, uh, classes, food, dining hall, dorm, dorm life. life, or something. Okay. Dorm life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so college oh. marching band was a huge step down oh. from high wow. school. If I if I have to be honest, that is true. It was it was very underwhelming. It, very easy and i i honestly expected a lot more from it but overall it was just really laid back now that could just be because (laughs) yeah that could just be because i had a very strict band teacher i don't know but you know he was also a really goofy guy and uh, grew to be a really great person to hang around but um it was just overall really laid and i think it was very fun honestly it's also one i so where I got to meet the goobers here in the VC. Yeah. Um, I think overall, uh, with classes, there was nothing wrong, except for having depression. That shit fucking sucked. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. So I, it, was, it was very bad. <laughs> I lost a lot of motivation to even go to my classes, so that was funny. But uh, it's okay. I'm getting therapy now. And everything's all right. Good. Uh, but with classes, like Nate said, you know, you don't want to fall behind. Don't do what I did, and fucking don't go to your classes, even if you feel depressed and you don't feel like it. You need to. Just, just yeah. Talk for yourself too. I will say one thing. I will say one thing about classes and about college for anybody incoming into uh, ICU. Two things. Number one, don't burn yourself out. Yeah, I, yeah. You can't. You can't like pile on homework and pile on studying. You need to give yourself human time too, but you have to balance that. Obviously, don't. Which is something I never did. <laughs> yeah. If you don't physically and mentally take care of yourself. And dietarily take care of yourself, you will be burnt out by the third month and your grades will drop. I promise. I've seen it happen. My mom's seen it happen. And it almost happened to me. Second of all, be careful about dorm life and the aspect of you're an adult now. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to be real about this. Sex could happen. Like, yeah, people will be having sex. Stop sex! <laughs> Do not uh, fall for these types of traps. Don't. I don't care how much you want it. If you're into that stuff, do not fall for that stuff. You have a lot. You have studies to worry about. Focus on your major. But uh, focus on studying, not hoes. There's, There's only major, two sexes: the one I had with your mom, and the one I had with your dad. Whoa! Uh, don't worry. It was just with your mom. Uh, no, nah, but go, go on with what you're saying. Well, like liberals, it's just our humor. Or say fine arts building in Landini without the <laughs> wait, without the iron. <laughs> I can't even say what the straight face. Relax, Relax liberals, liberals, it's dark humor. <laughs> it's called dark humor. Okay. How long have we been doing this podcast? Ian, how long have we been doing this podcast? Actually, how many? Minutes. We're, we're, it's already, the, the podcast is at 40 minutes, so once Curdy's done explaining, then I, I called you Curdy on the next one. Once Curry <laughs> Curtis is done yeah, 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 uh, yeah. explaining, we can end the episode there. Yeah, uh, next is Dining Hall, right? I think so. <clears throat> uh, sometimes going down to the Dining Hall was really awesome, considering the Dining Hall actually has good food in like high school. Yeah. Um, like Nate said, 
Pizza. Yeah, especially Pineapple Pizza. Oh my god. That's so good. You know what? You can bleep me out on this, but fuck you, Pineapple Pizza haters. I hate you. I Die. probably won't bleep you out because Pineapple Pizza is the shit. If you don't like Pineapple Pizza... Literally. Like, people that bizarre. say that Pineapple Pizza is terrible, fuck you. Like, when you say your taste buds need removed, like a certain someone did, <laughs> and you posted a picture, that Ashton. was very upsetting. <laughs> Ashton was crunk off the bob when he said that. For real. Anyways, um... They they make some very good food. Yeah. Sometimes very rather good. than fucking uh, high school. Because in high school, I it's basically the equivalent to slop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The apple slices at my high school were all like really dry and shit. It was awesome. That's nasty. But anyways, uh, last is dorm life, I believe. Yes, I think so. And that's, that's just my end on the dining hall. Anyways, um, dorm life. So my dorm life was awesome. My, the first week I did spend it in, in a regular dorm, you know, two-bed dorm. Uh, since it was bridge week, my, um, <clears throat> my roommate wasn't even there yet. So I had the room to myself for a while. Um... But eventually he did move in and we met each other. He was a very cool guy. Um, <clears throat> we're still friends, actually. Um, we we talk to each other every now and then. But The funny thing as to why I moved into a single dorm is not because... Not because I walked in on him. You were traumatized. Uh, I was a little traumatized, I gotta admit. Um... But no, 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 no. My dad finally found the, uh, the nasty. Yeah. I mean, other than that, it was just like my dad finally found the right files, and I actually got the confirmation to move into a single dorm. So that's what it did. And basically, from there on, it was very to just relax and do whatever I wanted. And like Nate said, it's 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 a big load off for your day. When you just get to hang out in your dorm by yourself and do whatever you want. <clears throat> yeah. No, I wouldn't say do whatever you want, literally, because, you know, that would always end in, hey, I'm not going to get anything done. Uh, screw my classes. I'm staying here and sleeping for 12 hours straight. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Though, I think having a single dorm is pretty nice, especially when nobody's there. Yeah. It just, it feels a lot more private, and it feels very nice just to have time to yourself. I think that's my take. That's my take. Yeah, that's my take. Yeah, that's my take. Nice. Oh, uh, well, I have one take. Uh, I don't blow your money in college. Oh, yeah, I know definitely. a lot of people, mm. a lot of my friends rush to Walmart to buy stuff. Don't blow your crap in college. Please, yeah. for the love of God, save your money. Especially if you don't have a job. <laughs> buy, and by all means, the use your credits for the dining hall. Use your college cash. Oh, my gosh. If you need to buy something, it's out of necessity. If you have lucky, you know, if you have lucky enough parents, you use that. Yeah. Because that college, if you have debt, that saved up money also please get a job in college it helps a lot i have a i have a college job um it could help uh if you have work experience that could help with scholarships oh speaking of scholarships please register for scholarships <laughs> do you have any idea how much money universities lose by not giving away scholarships that you could have applied for even if it looks like you're not ready for it apply yeah. for all this you might be lucky and get some money out of it because what Nate said, like, with a college job, I don't have one now. I might get one this semester. But with scholarships, college can pay you. If you get more scholarship every money dollar, than you do have to pay for attendance, then you can get money back. I actually got, like, a <laughs> refund from college. I think it was, like, a few hundred dollars. Because yeah, I, was, I was, actually... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. You, you, you can go. I was just going to say that I got a refund, basically, and I don't even have a job. I still have oh. that little scholarship extra money, you know? <laughs> Yeah, every yeah. that that definitely that goes definitely. for me too. Especially because the scholarship that I got 
literally paid for my entire college. Yeah. Now exactly. with me and everything that basically does absolutely nothing for me but you know um well, every dollar every dollar that you save either scholarship or working or stipends which is what the college to pay you to go there in money every dollar you save is like another hundred dollars i got money <laughs> seriously every dollar you save is another hundred dollars saved in the rest of your life yep. in passage so please Please fill out fast us and please try to limit the amount of loans you take. The more loans you take, the worse it gets. Yeah. The I'm more, sure. huh? Huh? The more worse, the more what you take? <laughs> loads. Loads? What? Mm. Loads. <laughs> anyway. Alabama, oh my Would you God. You like taking loads, huh? <laughs> okay. Anyways. Fat loans. Like, the things that right, pay anyways, back. We are reaching oh. the, uh, We've we've got a pretty uh, pretty good uh, episode today. We're reaching about our time limit. Um, we like to uh, yeah, this is a, us a out long the... first episode. The first t- we, time we took a take, it was like forty six <laughs> minutes. On the first t- time we did the episode, this time it was also like it's like forty six minutes. So it'll be around then too. But uh, the second episode is so will probably be like half an hour. Excuse me about my excuse me about my voice. I am kind of sick, so that's why I sound like you're good. Uh, Oh, what's a good analogy? That's why I sound like a stoner. <laughs> well, at least. Well, at least. Shout out to all the British people in the audience, by the way. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> said shout out to all my British, British people in the audience. You and your unbrushed teeth. Okay, sorry, it's a joke. <laughs> Relax, liberals. It's coming. Relax, liberals. <laughs> <laughs> you and your jagged teeth, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Nate. <laughs> it's time for the outro. It is. Since I guess since I'm I introduced it, should I do the outro for this one and then you we go down the row for the next episodes? Yes. Yeah, okay. Sure. So uh thank you all for watching this episode of the Pondering Trio Inc. Nah. Uh we got a lot talked about. This is gonna be probably like one of the longer episodes because it's the first episode. Maybe we'll have specials <laughs> later on where it's also longer, but um yeah. yeah, it's this is one of the longer ones we had. We'll try keeping it under <laughs> half an hour probably or about a half an hour next time. But uh yeah, I'm Ian. I'm Ian. Uh I'm Nate. And I'm Smurtis. And uh yeah, we're the Pondering Inc. Hopefully you all enjoyed and see you next time. See you all later. Bye bye.